Today I have Peyton with me. We're gonna do a really fun haircut on him. Um, we're gonna start with the number one. Okay, we're gonna come up just a little bit because we're gonna take the number two. So just come over his ear a little bit. He's a little nervous. <laughs> He's never went this short before, so it's really fun. Okay, so if you can see, I'm just coming up about that far with the number one, okay? <clears throat> and then on the back, you're going to come up where kind of those bones are. You can kind of feel those bones. Just kind of go up to that with the number one. Two. Okay, then you put the ear down. Go past the ear a little bit. Okay, and then you'll just kind of want to look in the front. Make sure, you know, it's about even on both sides with the number one. Okay, then we're going to switch out gonna put on the number two. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come, come up this way. None of this, um, this site is all gonna be blended, okay? Then we're gonna put a line right here with my little buzzer. So you're gonna come right up, I mean, come up from almost the middle of the eye, not quite, off to the side. Come straight up here. Okay, I'm going to turn them into the mirror just so I can see. Okay, we're going to go up a tiny bit more. Okay, just about there. <clears throat> Come up here to the crown right away. So fun buzzing all this off. <laughs> Peyton has really thick hair too, so we'll be using the, you know, thinning shears. You can tell, I mean, it's like totally poofing out <laughs> right there. Okay, with lighter hair, it blends really easy. If you're going to have dark hair, it's probably going to be a little bit harder to blend, the one to two. Not bad but you'll probably have to blend it a little bit more. Um, so his is looking good for now. So I'm gonna start the top. Okay, now, I'm gonna start here back in the crown. We're gonna take this pretty short, okay? beaten, I can feel it. <laughs> He's a little nervous. <laughs> no, it'll look good on him for sure. Okay, see how it's pretty short back through here? Alright, <clears throat> now we're going to come up front, starting in the middle. <coughs> I just started from where this guide point is, from the back. And then we'll, in just a minute, we'll make this part and we'll blend this in a minute. So don't worry about that, okay? So just come on, take this length off. Hope everybody had a good holiday season. Okay. 
Okay, um, now in this front, you know, he wants to leave it a tiny bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle this way, okay? So here's my guide point here. I'm going to start and I'm going to angle up a tiny bit. So instead of coming straight across this way, I'm going to angle up. See how that goes up? So that's going to leave this front part longer, okay? checking yourself, you know, if you come back this way. Okay, now I'm going to just turn him real fast and see how long this front is. Okay, just going to hold this straight down and I'm going to rest my shears right here point cut into this front. Are you having fun yet, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now what I want to do is take right here, because you want to see where you're going to put this line. Here, I can turn this way. going to want to put this line, let's say probably, yep, probably about there. So honestly, just look at it, see where you're wanting the line. Okay, now I just kind of push this to the side. I'm going to take my um, blending comb. And I'm going to come straight up. See how I'm holding my comb straight up? Just hold it straight up this way. Okay, this. Take all this short. And blend these sides. Sorry, now I'm going to come on this side so I can kind of see in the mirror. Let's see. Sorry, can you see this way? I'm sorry. take my thinning shears and come along this line to soften that line. See how that kind of softens out? It's not quite. Okay, then I'm going to take my regular shears and I'm going to blend this a tiny bit better. See that little corner? I'm going to take that off. Just a little corner here on the sides. You can come do this here. 
see where the buzz is right there? You just take from that, and there's that little corner, and you just take that off. Just helps it blend a lot better. Just keep going back, just make sure it blends real nice. Okay, now <clears throat> for the wine, just comb over that's going to go over and <clears throat> if we need to come back and blend this side even more we can okay I'm just going to look in the mirror make sure that's where I want the line that's about where you're wanting it right about there yeah is that too much hair over do you want the line over more no I think that's better right? is that okay So just hold that over. Okay, take your little trimmers. You're gonna come and you're gonna set it straight down, okay? When you set it straight down, you're gonna move it a tiny bit, okay? So set it and move it. I'm going to uh, take this other side a little bit shorter. Okay, now let me just look at this. Sweet. Okay. Now I'm going to blend a tiny bit of this in. Okay, fill your front paint and see if that's too long or if that's about, mm, is that about right? Do you need to look in the mirror? No, I is that about right? Okay. All right, so um, here is, okay, this is from Sexy Hair, okay? Um, it's called Heart Up. It's just a gel. Um, you know what, anybody, whatever, if you want a dry look, if you want a wet look, I mean, you can use whatever really in this style. So we're using a gel. So we're just going to push this over and up. I went a tiny bit thicker in Peyton's hair because blonde it's harder to see. Black you're going to see, you know, or darker hair, you're going to see the line really well. And so you don't have to go as thick. So I wanted to do his a little bit thicker just because it's a little harder to see in blonde hair. Okay, I'm going to turn him to the front here and see how you feeling, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> a little bit. Do you want this cut more or, um, yeah. yeah kind of like that. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, there is Peyton's new haircut. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Um, I am going to hurry and go around and do, I should show you that, sorry. I'm going to go around his ears. Just come straight across from the ear. Sorry, I didn't mean I was going to end without showing this. <laughs> Just push the ear down. Okay, come straight in the middle of the neck. And I like to just come straight over. Angle. You can do it more square, more rounded, whatever you like. With this haircut, I like a little bit of an angle. Okay. See, I angle that up, kind of round that a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go around the ear. All right, we are set. Okay, all right, um, let us know if you have any questions.
and then I'll turn it around one more time. So you can see. Big smile. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks you guys. Have a good I'm Madonna from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Walker with me. This is Deanne and Travis's boy. Um, we are going to do a missionary haircut on him. He is leaving soon. Sad. Next month. Uh, I'm going to use a number two on his sides. You're going to come up to about here, okay? All the way around. Some missionaries like to go one um, that's shorter than this two. Go ahead if you would like to go shorter, but we're going to try the number two with Walker first. Now we've got that. Now I'm just going to spray him down. We're going to go shorter on his top, obviously for the missionary cut. Um, I'm going to start back here in the crown. I'm going to go a half inch probably. Maybe a little more than that. Then I'm going to come around back here. He has one more haircut before his mission. So um, we're doing it this short, and then he can decide if he wants to go shorter or a little bit longer next time. So depending on how short you're wanting it, um, is how long, you know, how much you're going to take off the top. Okay. So what I like to do is come up, you know, this middle, come off to the right side, come off to the left side. Yeah, I'm taking more than more than a half, probably three quarters. See that of an inch. Okay, this, this front part, I'm going to pull back this way a little bit, just so that gives it a little bit of length in the front, so he's not feeling scalped. <laughs> if you pull it out this way and cut all that length off, then that's, that'll be pretty short. Okay, now I'm going to go down this middle, and you can just hold that up and see if you need, this is just double checking your work, okay? If it's uneven, it'll there'll be a little bit of a a bump, or you'll see where it's a little longer. Okay, now I am gonna hold this down to take a little bit of length here. I'm gonna uh, set my shears here and just open and close. Now I'm just going to push this off to the side. Okay, now to blend this haircut, I love a thin, thin comb, okay, with the teeth um, tight together. Okay, now I'm coming straight up from the head or to the side of the head, you know, just straight up this way.
I just feel like um, this comb can be, it just makes it so much easier to blend. Um, seems like the bumps come out a lot easier. Just because it's closer to the, the head, I feel, because it's so thin. Okay, now I'm just going to look in the mirror to make sure both sides. Um, Walker has thick hair, really thick hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thinning shears, okay, and I'm going to come along this line right here, and I'm just going to thin that out a tiny bit. That just uh, makes that line so it's not, because I blended it, but where it's so thick, that helps that. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is just come on this corner, see if there's any little bit of a corner left. Take that off. Now this, we've, he's had his hair long, wearing it long with this short. So how I'm going to blend that is on an angle. Okay, so just take this corner off. As you come back, just angle those shears. See, it just takes that little corner off. see the ending result. Okay, so I'm just going to push this to the side. Okay, so before you style it, just go around his ears. Now, we all mess up. It's fine. It's not that it has to be done that way, but I just messed up. No worries. Okay, so just come by the ear. I'm going to go around the ear. Push the ear down. Okay, I'm going to come in the middle, just go straight to the side, and curve that up a little. Now if there's hair that's a little bit longer here because they're the calic, just take your comb and you can see it just holds those longer hairs out and you just go like that and it takes care of that. Anyway, what I would do, um, a lot of people don't have 
this. This is called Blast. This is a spray adhesive. Um, and this is from Ice Hair. Uh, a lot of people don't have this, so you can just use hairspray. That's totally fine. Um, this just holds this up into place. So I'm gonna spray that, and then I'm gonna use uh, my blow dryer, just on low. Just kind of hold that up. Okay, so you guys can see this is just kind of sticking up here. Um, I am gonna do a little bit here though, just to stand this part up a little bit more. just want this like separated enough so when you go to put that on the ends it's not blobbed on there like just one you know bleach spot okay now I'm gonna take a little bit of bleach um, I always use gold bell bleach and I'm gonna use my 40 volume which means it can lift up to four levels and Chandler's hair is darker and so we obviously want it to go more blonde so we are going to use 40 volume Okay, I'm just gonna mix that. You can see it's not like really liquidy. You want it a little bit firm, but enough, you know, have it wet enough that it actually colors the hair. If it's too dry, it's gonna dry and not process the whole way. Okay, now I'm just gonna put some bleach on and I'm just gonna dab on the top of his hair here. So you can just get those ends. And make sure it's pretty thick. I mean, like I said, you don't want it to look like it's globbed on there. Um, but make sure there's enough bleach on there, you know, to lift the color out. Okay, and then through this front area, I'm gonna just kinda do a little bit down here. So when he goes to lift, you know, style the hair up, that it's blonde through this area. Okay, and then you can just kind of look and see where the blonde's gonna be. Right here looks a little dark, so I'm gonna add a little bit of blonde through there. more than welcome to wash it out, hurry and dry it again, and add more if the hair is dark, just to get it to go lighter each time. So um, if it's wet enough, it should do it the first time, but like I said, it depends on how dark your hair is. So, okay, let me just double check that. Okay, that's looking good, because we just want that front part. So, okay, we're gonna put him under the dryer, and then we will show you the end result when he's done. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Redonna from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. I have Chandler. We have put some bleach up through the top of his hair. And the way I'm going to style this, I want to dry it so you can see the blonde. Anyway, I love this paste with Guy's dry hair. 
kind of gives it a, I mean, it kind of pieces it out. And with Chandler's, I really like it because you want to see this blonde that we've done. Then you just kind of push this throughout the rest of the hair. But that looks so cute. You can see how it's lighter right where we put the, you can put your head down the side. Okay. All right. That is a little bit of light ends on an awesome fella. Okay, have a good day. Thanks for watching.